Hey guys, welcome back, and today I'm going to be showing you how I do my everyday kind of curly hairstyle. And by everyday, I mean when I do take the time to actually sit down and do my hair. This is exactly what I do step by step. I'm going to show you what I use, what products I use, and how I achieve my curls that you see. And I'd say like 99% of my videos, let's get real, because I'm very, very into like a specific routine. So first thing I'm going to do, because I did wash my hair last night and actually straightened it last night, is I'm going to put some dry shampoo in it. And this is the Batiste Floral and Flirty Blush. Um, because my hair is extremely thin and fine. And it's when I wash it, it gets really, really, really soft. Which, you know, normally would not be a bad thing. But... Um, my curls will not hold at all unless they have some kind of texture to kind of hold on to. So I will spray this pretty much throughout my hair and the roots everywhere to give a little bit of texture. And then I'm going to massage that into my hair. Once I have my um, dry shampoo in, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, apparently I'm gonna drop it. Now I'm gonna brush my hair out just to kind of make sure that there's no sections that are tangled and make sure that the dry shampoo is all the way evenly distributed and I like to part my hair towards the left so I'm gonna kind of part my hair like I normally do. Go ahead and start with my heat protectant spray. This is the one I use. This is the Tresemme Thermal Creations. It's been in my bathroom hence why it's like all dirty. So I'm gonna spray that in my hair and then I'm actually gonna use the Paul Mitchell Hot Off the Press. This is um a heat protectant. It's also supposed to be like a style extender, but I can't really vouch for the fact that it really makes your style extend. I also use like the Living Proof Style Extender Cream stuff. I really don't see a huge difference, but you know what? I bought it and it, it's not drugstore. It's just not, it's not cheap, so I'm gonna use it. Uh, and so I'm gonna go ahead and start sectioning off my hair. And the first section I take is kind of here in the front. And if you're wondering why this hair here is shorter than the rest of my hair, it's because I actually had about two and or two and a half years ago, I had an undercut and this whole section of my hair was actually shaved. Um, I definitely was not vlogging then because I've only been vlogging for about a year and a half. So, um, but if you've known me for longer than that, and like social media, you would have seen my undercut. So that's about two and a half years of growth right there. And then I'm going to take this bottom little section. It seems like a small amount of hair, but the more like sections you do, the curlier your hair will be. So I'm going to do that. And then I'm going to take, I guess I'm going to take this guy around here. This is the Numi wand. I'm not sure exactly what size this one is. I know I also have the bigger one, which is 32 millimeter. And this is basically a very small one. And the reason why I use the smaller one is because my hair is extremely thin and fine and my curls, no matter how good of a wand I use, this is, you know, new me, this is a good brand. I use good hairspray. I let my hair curl before I, I brush or I do anything. My hair will still fall flat within like two hours, depending on what size barrel I use. If I use 32 millimeter, half hour my hair will be completely done. But so I have to use like a smaller barrel so that my hair will actually stay curled. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take it, this is with my left hand, around the back facing down. And I'm basically gonna just wrap my curls around. And I'm not using my wand, I'm not using my wand, I'm not using my glove because uh, I will burn myself either way. It really doesn't matter, but if you're new at like wands, using a wand, definitely use a glove. <laughs> I use my glove when I use my 32, my big one, because that guy just ooh, gets in the way. Because that is like a huge wand, so you've got like way more space to burn yourself with. So I'm just going to hold my curl here for about 20 seconds, but I hold my hair on the curling iron for 20 seconds, and then I will hold it up in the curled position for 20 seconds to let it cool, and then... I will let it down and then for each section I'm going to hairspray because that's the only way my hair will stay at all and I'm going to use a L'Oreal Elnet Satin Hairspray and just going to do a quick little spray. I have to spray each curl or else it will just literally fall down like the second I take it down, seriously. So I'm going to take this other little section here and my brush just in case because some of them tend to get kind of, you know, naughty in the in the clip and that little part does not want to come to the party so I'm gonna just wrap this around. I usually leave a little bit, maybe like an inch or two on the ends so they're not like completely curled on the ends. I like that look so I'm gonna hold this for 20 seconds. Take that up and let it 
gonna sit here for another 20 seconds. Let that guy go and spray it and just move on. And this is pretty much what I do on the entirety of my head. And I will always I always curl away from my face for this look. I never curl towards my face. I feel if you curl towards your face, you're gonna kinda get like that more like vintage pinupy look, which is gorgeous. And if I'm going for that specific kind of look, I will curl towards my face. But I like curling away from my face. I kind of like the way they look when they kind of come all together personally. You end up getting more volume when you do curl like um, different directions, one away, one close to your face. I don't know. I personally think that this look just looks better on my face, my face shape, my hair. It really just depends on what you're, you know, what you like, your specific preferences. And I swear, why is there a piece of hair that's like, sometimes you'll get like little stranglies. And that way, well actually that's kind of good because sometimes you'll have like these little itty bitty curls in between all the bigger ones. And it'll look more PC and more textured. And that's always a good look. And you'll see sometimes I actually do kind of take smaller sections and this one's a little bit of a larger section so there is a little bit more of like a variation and like a texture wise which I like so it kind of creates that same type of thing as if you're curling one strand away from your face and curling one strand towards your face. I feel like I like this better just using like different size pieces of hair. That's easier for me to do. And sometimes it'll take longer than 20 seconds because this one right here is a bigger chunk of hair and it's still really really hot. My hand is still like extremely hot against it. So I'll make sure I keep my hand, I'll keep it in place until it's not nearly as hot as it is, till it's cooled down. That'll also help the curls stay longer even though my hair, as you can see my hand is hot from holding, I have to switch hands. My hair still, no matter what, even if I do all this, I swear my hair will still fall down. I'm going to actually time it. I'm going to show you guys how long <laughs> my hair will actually stay in place. So there. Well, that's a pretty curl, that's for sure. And I pretty much do the exact same thing for the rest of the hair on this side of my head. So I'm going to go ahead and just speed through this. one side of my hair done. As you can see it really takes off quite a bit of length before they're brushed out. So I'm going to do the exact same thing on the other side. I'm going to start with sectioning it. And of course this side, the sectioning ends up being different because this is the side that I part my hair on so I have more hair. So I kind of will take the first section right up top straight across and then I'm going to sort of divide this into like little square chunks here. This one it's gonna go here. Oop. I'm gonna take that back one up here. This one is kind of gonna stay to the front because it's just a little bit of a small amount of hair. And then this back piece I'm gonna divide into. For someone who has such thin and fine hair, I'm sure to divide my hair a lot, and I know that. <laughs> Alright, for this way, I'm going to do the opposite way. I'm going to take my uh, wand in the right hand, and it is, oh, wrap it around. It is a little bit more difficult this side because I am right handed, so it's easier to like wrap the hair with my right hand as opposed to holding the wand with it. Which sucks because this is like the section of my hair that has like the most hair where my part is, so I feel like if my part was the other way, it would look a lot better. But it's not so ideal. Do the same thing. Let the curl uh, cool off in my hand for 20 seconds. This wand does get extremely hot, by the way. Um, I'm pretty sure it gets up to 450. I know my bigger wand, which is, this is the one with, I don't even know what it's called. But it's got, got like the black wand, but I have the other one, the new me. 32 millimeter and it's like the titanium so it's a silvery metal wand and that one actually will um, let you adjust the temperature this one will not let you adjust the temperature but I'm pretty sure that where is this clip at oh yeah 
pretty sure that it gets up to 450. I'm not, uh, but do not quote me on that, but I think it gets up to 450. It feels like, it feels as hot as like my um, straightening iron and my other wand does. So I'll look it up though and I'm gonna leave, I'm gonna try to find like this exact wand and put it in the description box because I don't know the name of it. It doesn't have the name on it. I actually think it might have the model number on it. Let me see. When I let this curl down, I'll let you know. And this little piece right here, I'm just gonna take in the front really quickly to get it out of the way. And by the way, I actually just filmed the Get It Ready With Me with this look. So if you're interested in what products I used, then I will, this, that video will probably be up for this one, so I'll link it in the description box below. My hair is getting caught up. Itty bitty curl right here. And I pretty much just do the exact same thing for the rest of my hair, so I'm gonna go ahead and speed this up. is helping my curls cool down and they've been curling for about five minutes now so what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna take my fingers and I'm gonna start just separating the curls almost like finger combing them out because if you actually do put a brush through them it, they're gonna fall just so much faster than they would as you can see I swear my hair is like so so soft and it's so thin and so fine that my curls are already starting to fall which is a bummer, but the good thing is that this side over here that has more hair tends to kind of like come out a little bit more voluminous, which I love. So I'm gonna kind of just finger comb through that and look how like nice and bouncy and shiny my hair is. I've been trying to like get my hair so healthy for such a long time. I think it's finally where it needs to be health-wise. And so I'm gonna take uh, this big sexy hair hairspray. This is really gonna hold the curls. I'm kind of just gonna put like my hand behind it like on my palm so that I can really get all the curls spray underneath it so it can keep the volume that it actually has. Same with this side. Spray underneath. I have a new hairspray that I'm going to be trying out. I tried it out a couple times but it wasn't really on like freshly washed, freshly curled hair. The Garnier Fruity Style Deconstructed Texture Tease Dry Touch Finish Spray with Micro Mineral Powder. Try to say that three times fast. It says it holds, lifts, and texture with a reworkable finish. So basically, it's supposed to be a hairspray that also kind of gives you some texture to your hair, which is what I want when my hair is curled. So I want it when my hair is, you know, straight too, but let's just work on the curls. So I almost kind of scrunch it up so it gives a little bit of texture. And my hair is on, so it's obviously blowing it a little bit, but do you guys get the gist? So this is what my hair looks like when I first curl it. I like how the ends kind of aren't completely curled. So it kind of keeps some of the length of my hair because I've been growing my hair out for a very long time and I want the length. And I'm gonna try to turn around. Ooh, it's if I can so you can see the back. I hope you can see the back. Sometimes I have to do like redo this curl like right here in the back because it won't look good, but I'm hoping. Can you guys see? Does it look good? So that's what my curls look like when I first do them and I love it. I love the way my hair looks like when it's curled. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoy this in this tutorial. And yeah, this is a very, very good wand. It's off right now, so it's not hot, but this is a very good wand. If you're interested, I will put, I'm gonna look for the exact model name and the link for it if they do still sell on the Numi site. But really, any Numi products, they're amazing. They're like the only hair tools that I use now. They're amazing. I'm not sponsored by them. I do not have any kind of contract or partnership with them. I am just a loyal um, user of their products and I really love them. And I think you will too. And they're really not, 
that expensive. I mean, they can get up there, but I mean, you're basically investing in your hair. You want products that aren't going to damage your hair as much as a product that maybe if you went out to Walmart and just bought a $20 curling iron would do. So I really, really love these products and I think they're amazing and I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and uh, if you like these kind of things, if you'd like to see like how I do my hair and my makeup and stuff like that, um, let me let me know. Leave me a comment down below telling me that you like these kind of videos and I'll keep doing them and yeah, I'll see you guys later. Bye.